Good afternoon, space flight enthusiasts. We have an unexpected angry bulletin for you. The International Space Station has had to dodge space debris yet again. And once again, the Russians had to do the heavy lifting. Regardless of what you might have heard about new American spacecraft that have been utilized for reboost tests, that sort of thing, including the SpaceX Dragon, it is clear that the Russians are still a very important part of ISS operations, especially when it comes to hazardous debris. The Progress resupply ship that was docked to the ISS fired its thrusters for five and a half minutes on Tuesday afternoon, beginning at 3.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the goal was to move the ISS to a safe distance away from an incoming piece of debris that came from a destroyed meteor meteorological satellite. Quote, the predetermined debris avoidance maneuver was conducted in coordination with NASA, Roscosmos, and the other space station partners. Without the maneuver, ballistic officials estimated that the fragment could have come within about four kilometers of the station. Sounds like a fair distance, but really when we're talking about distances in space, that is an incredibly close shave, and that's why they needed to move the space station. Again, this is something that happens all the time. As a matter of fact, a December 2022 NASA analysis reported that the International Space Station had performed evasive burns 32 times since 1999, and that number has gone up since. The ISS dodged space junk twice in one week in March of 2023, and it will continue to do so as Earth's orbit becomes more and more crowded with satellites and pieces of debris such as defunct rocket engines. Tuesday's avoidance maneuver occurred just two hours before a big space flight event. Obviously, the sixth test flight of SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket. And it's worth noting that one of Starship's primary missions is to deploy a lot more Starlink satellites than currently exist in low Earth orbit. Right now, there's about 6,600 of them. And with Starship, the Starlink number is expected expected to increase to more than 40,000 satellites in orbit. And even though these satellites are capable of maneuvering to avoid collisions, not all of them remain active and functional. Some of them malfunction, some of them experience problems, and when they do, they become unguided missiles in low Earth orbit. It is critical that all private spaceflight companies and all space agencies embrace the same policy that the European European Space Agency and the UK Space Agency are embracing right now, and that is the idea of deorbiting satellites with spacecraft specifically designed for that purpose, and also to build these satellites with docking systems, making them easier to deorbit if they run into any kinds of problems. If you'd like more details on that, I've got a video concerning that project linked at the end of this one. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe and as always stay angry about space